Well, I wasn't going to do a review on this. Sometimes I don't do private campgrounds. But I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Um, we are in Tennessee. This is Mountain Pass Campground, RV Park Campground. That's the one way in, and there are um, eight spots below us. Very nicely kept. Very nice. And uh, that's a one way in. Right on down there is uh, Powell River. And we have some yappers over there. Then on up this way, it goes on up to uh, more more RV parking. Now this is all full hookups as I remember it. And uh, I think it's $30, uh, $30 a day. Not bad, but boy is it tough to get in here. We, um, we drove on a road that narrow, two-way traffic to get up here. At one point, I had to back up. Someone else is coming down with a truck with a trailer on it that held uh, uh, canoes or rafts and she couldn't back it up enough so I had to back up about 50 feet downhill to a turn where she could get around and then two more cars came around. So fortunately I was about five miles, four or five miles in and there's a road right up here. This is the exit to go out. So there's only one way in and one way out. And they had a doozy of a storm today and these big trees somewhere down the line fell into uh, the lines, power lines, because the power's out when we came back home today. We were out visiting um, uh, Cumberland Gap. Gorgeous. Something else, man. We hiked to the original Cumberland Gap, and that was that was really cool. Daniel Boone has been that way. You can hear I got the generator going, so it's a good thing I brought my generator. Oh, hummingbird? No, bird. Been a few hummingbirds buzzing through here. So quite an eventful day. Almost got hit twice by other cars, and a bicycle almost ran into us by an inch. An inch. He was coming down the road from the Cumberland Gap. Um, it's some kind of a lookout or a, a, a really pretty uh, view of the area. You can see all three states, Tennessee, Virginia, and Kentucky. And uh, boy, these trees are just unbelievable. But uh, the roads getting in here are unbelievable. Everybody made it. Sometimes you got to back up. Sometimes they got to back up. There's three ways in here. And the best one I found is... Um, is back towards the east, uh, coming in from the east off 63. Uh, the one we came in was coming, uh, I'm sorry, it, it's east of here, but coming west to come into this campground. So it's uh, it's been very interesting here. Got the generator going. My uh, The power must have been out for quite a while, or a few hours, because I checked my... Uh, batteries and they were at uh, 79 no 70 percent capacity or at 70 percent capacity yeah and I've had the generator running about an hour and a half and they're up about to 90 percent and I'll turn it off later and because uh, I don't want that going all night it could go all night but uh, just with whatever drain we had then uh, it ran it down. So, there you go. One of my uh, nightmares here is my tire on this side, as you can see, is really wearing down. So, the tire next to it looks just fine. And uh, I need to find a place somewhere on the road somehow to get these tires rotated. So it'll quit wearing on this tire. Uh, the top tread looks okay. 
So I could do it myself, but oh boy, I don't want to do that. I have to jack up this side, take that wheel off, put a spare on here, lower it, go to the other side, take the wheel off, put this tire over there, come back. Oh, geez. Okay. So, anyway, I'm hoping to find a discount tire along the way I can pull into. Okay, guys. A um, little bit more about Mountain Pass Campground. I didn't take any more videos while I was there. Um, we spent a day in uh, up at Cumberland Gap at the Visitor Center and, and that area, and we took that hike, like I said, and, oh, it, it was really, really good. Uh, I just felt special being somewhere Daniel Boone had met. So it was, it was well worth the day. Uh, the next day, we really didn't go anywhere. Um, we took a uh, road out. I'm going to show you the map. Um, hopefully, i got to get back a little bit. Um, we came in on, let me look here, Powell Creek Road. That's how we came into the uh, campground. And uh, Powell River Road, excuse me. I hope you can see this okay. I'm kind of up close trying to get my sound right. Um, do not, do not take that road, okay? If you've got anything over, if you would just want to breathe easier, because like I said, it was, it was pretty scary. <laughs> there were places where I don't know how we'd have gotten around because it would have been a long way to back up. If we'd have met another camper on that road, um, it would have been pretty messy, I, I guarantee you. So instead, I'm going to try to um, show you this the best way, I think. The shortest way is to come in down here on whatever that number is, three, 345. Come around this way to Little Creek Road and come in this way. Okay. Now, if you're coming from the north, up this way, come on down to Little Creek and come in that way. That was a much better road. Uh, forget Hill Road. There was a couple of really narrow spots, uh, some trees down. When we went through there, I wouldn't take that. I would come around this way or come around that way. But... The campground was really so well kept. It was so nice. There are no, there's nothing else there but campsites. Um, there's a, a couple of uh, outhouses type things, a bathroom. I didn't even check them out. It was just wooden. Kind of looked like outhouses. I don't know. But you had everything you need. You've got full hookups. So why bother? and that gorgeous lake. So we never left the spot. It was really not. We went down set by the river. It's cool. You can fish off there and get a Tennessee fishing license. Go for it. Um, the uh, other thing I wanted to mention on the tire wear, and I've got a funny feeling that is because when I had my Goodyear endurance bug, uh, tires put on uh, at discount tire I noticed they jacked up on the axles not on the frame and they may have bent that one axle a little bit because all the other the other three tires are just fine and so that makes no sense to me so I'll I'll get them rotated hopefully uh, before long and if the where starts in on that same spot on the tire, then I know it's an axle issue. And uh, we'll just go from there. Hey, tires wear out, right? But we don't have all that many miles on that. 20,000 maybe on, on those tires. Something like that. So, anyway, the, the hosts, the owners at Mountain Pass Campground are just fabulous. They're so sweet. Uh, one of the he came around one day, he was going to measure the spot and had a basket. And it had fresh um, 
cucumbers in it, pickling type, and some peppers. I thought they were going to be cayenne peppers, but they were mini jalapenos. Oh my gosh, they were so good. And he just said, take all you want. And But they are tremendous hosts, it, but beautiful. Oh my goodness gracious. It was like a little piece of heaven there. It was so quiet. It was really nice. So um, I'm going to recommend that for sure. If you, if you have a rig bigger than, well, I, I saw some big rigs there. That's the funny thing. I bet I saw 35-foot rigs there. So I don't know how they came in. Maybe a lead car saying, get out of the way, get out of the way. But uh, do take those routes I suggested right there rather than that Powell River Road because there were a couple of places. It was going to be a tough, tough job. And Linda was not happy. <laughs> she was not happy. Okay. Get out there, have fun, guys, and enjoy.